During the time of Secretary Marojas, the ceiling to purchase for the LTO was 25 billion. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was no outcry against that. Mm -hmm. The style of the Secretary will dictate the uh, marching orders on finances of the Bureau Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And uh, Secretary JR is a Bureau Chief under the Office of the Secretary. So just to clarify, ASEC, there's no rift between Secretary Jimmy and Attorney Tugade? No personal rift. It's just a difference of management style, I would say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there already any names mentioned by Secretary Bautista on who could replace Attorney Tugade? And um, I think before that, is he accepting the resignation? I suppose the acceptance will already be... Uh, a matter of course, and the uh, ending date is June 1. The, no specific names have been mentioned, but these are all appointees of the president. We can only recommend. Yes, sir. How soon can we expect po Secretary Bautista's recommendation for LTO chief? Paka you have an idea. <laughs> Uh, I was told not to speak too much at this time. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. change. Let's change topic. Na lang. Oh, sige, sige. What the left? The is just no? out of the tube, and right. uh, we, we cannot rush things. Yeah. We respect that, Assistant Secretary. Asa ganito na lang. So the uh, puno dulo ni tong lahat, right? Is nagkukulang tayo ng lisensya at ng plaka. So uh, is this issue being addressed in any way? And how soon can we expect the resolution of uh, the lack in supply? The procurement process is ongoing with private bidders and the uh, government uh, bidders are uh, just there as uh, exploratory talks and uh, we hope that with the streamlining of the procedures things will go on smoothly in a few months.